We're going to pay for base plates, we pay for permits, fuel and road taxes, we pay your tolls, lumpers, your reefer fuel. We also give passes, so you'll get an Oklahoma Pike Pass, an Easy Pass, and a Pre-Pass. Uh, you can apply online on our website at johnchristner.com or you can call one of our recruiters. It's an easy process. Um, it usually takes anywhere from one to three days, typically. Dollar buyout at the end, so once you reach the end, you make your last payment, you give us a dollar, we give you the title to the truck. What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men Podcast. I am your humble host, Lockout Men, here to bring you today's episode. And in today's episode, it's another MTC episode. Yes, sir. Find out who I'm about to call. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. So when videos, when the call videos come, you will be notify if you like the if you like to support the channel you can do that by hooking me up with some coffee that's what i'm saying hook me up with something to drink i'm here in illinois waiting to get something to drink now so hook me up with some coffee man the coffee link is in the description below as well as the cash app dollar sign lockout men so you can hook me up with that in today's episode we're going to be talking to who are we going to be talking to Lockout man, who are we going to be talking to today? I don't know, lockout man. Who are we going to be talking to today? John Christianers Trucking. Yes, sir. John Christianers Trucking. That's who we're going to be talking to today. We're going to get some information for you guys and find out if John Christianers Trucking will be a right fit for you. So let's head over to the bit board. Let's head over to the bit board to find out a little bit more about John Christianers Trucking. And there it is. There it is. John Christianers Trucking. $1 mile base pay. Is that something good for you guys? I mean, she did mention it in the call that I have that it's it's a dollar, but you get an extra five cent per mile uh, for whatever reason. So you get a dollar five cent a mile. It's a dollar five cent enough for you guys i mean if you're a new jack coming into the game and trying to get a feel of what owner operations is like driving a the truck then this probably might be the route for you they are a fully cdla lease purchase trucking company they're no longer a solo i mean they're no longer a company driving company no more so everything they do is is lease purchase now meaning you have to do your own taxes meaning no benefits meaning that everything falls on you all right what they got to offer well solo earns a dollar base per mile team earns a dollar five base per mile new automatic detention starts at twenty dollars an hour true lease purchase program that saves drivers 10 to 12k out of pocket expenses two cents per mile per safety bonus fuel surcharge paid on all miles no cash down so if you got bad credit good credit you can still get in the truck today one dollar buyout with no balloon payment I still don't know what that means. Somebody in the comments below, hook a brother up and let me know what that means. Base pay, base plates and permits, road use of fuel taxes paid, easy pike and pre-passes provided, tolls and scales reimbursed, large fleet buying power, pay off your truck quicker with our variable lease purchase program. At the end of the term, the truck is yours for a dollar. That's right. Just a dollar. And the title is yours. That's what's up. Lease to own requirements. You must have a valid CDLA and has 48 state tractor trailer driving experience. No more than three moving violations in the three years. No more than three preventable accidents in the three years. Are you in it for the long haul? I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, let's find out more about this uh, about this company, John Krishner's Trucking. In wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, let's find out more about John Krishner's Trucking in this call. I'm well today. Yes, that is correct. Okay, okay, cool, cool. You, you gave the abbreviated name. <laughs> That's I was, I was kind of thrown. I was <laughs> yes. kind of thrown there for a second. Like, whoa, wait, am I calling the right place? All right. Uh, <laughs> how you doing? My name's. Yes, you are. My name's uh, Sean, and I'm a five-year driver. And I was just calling to see what uh, mm -hmm. JCT has to. What you guys have to offer as far as uh, as far as us truck drivers. But the real reason. I call is because of that, but I I was in a Facebook group that I seen a driver okay. that that did a hell of mm -hmm. a milestone, uh, ten million miles. Am I am I okay? Am, am awesome. I am I correct in saying something like that because it was in you guys' no. Facebook group, but I was I was kind of thrown if that was a real no. guy or not. Was it on our main Facebook page, or was it on on one of the subsidiary ones? I believe it was on your main page. You know, some guy named Larry. Now see the on thing. On our main page. Now see the thing was the guy name was Larry uh, Miles. Yeah, he's my driver, actually. <laughs> okay, so that, so he's so, a yeah. real so he's a real guy. He's. He's a real, yeah, he's a real guy. He's the real deal. He has been driving a very, very long time. Don't ask me exactly how many years because I'm not 100% sure, but um, he does not look it. I, he, I'm sure his, his picture and stuff was on uh, the Facebook page and everything. He doesn't look at it all, but he's like, he's is almost as old as John Christner is, which John Christner is in his 70s. Um, so, he, and he's still going strong. He still drives for us. Okay, so, so yeah, he's I, he's got a lot of miles under his belt. I I was strong, I was strong for a loop because everybody, you know, that was, you know, it's it's not only on your on your page, but it was on other mm -hmm. Facebook group page that I'm in too, and a lot of the comments in there was like, "No, nah, that that dude ain't real. Mm -hmm. look, look at his name, Larry Miles." Like, <laughs> right. No, he he's he's real. He actually won the Professional Truck Driver of the Year award this last year for Oklahoma, the state of Oklahoma. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. he, he's the real deal. I promise. <laughs> so he's been he's been driving there for for he's did he let me ask you this did he did he accumulate all the miles mm -hmm. sorely with you guys or that was just over his entire career? Um, I think it's a, over his entire career, but a lot of them were with us. He's been with us for, oh, my goodness, he's worked for us twice. Um, this last time, like currently that he's been with us, he's been here since 2014, um, this last time. And then the time before that, when he worked for us, I can't remember exactly how many years he was here for because it was a long. It was before my time. I've been here nine years, but it was before my time. Okay. okay. Um, it was back when we still had company drivers, which we don't have anymore. Um, and he was a company driver for us way back in the day, like twenty something years ago. Okay. And he was here, I think, six, eight years, something like that, back then. So he's actually accumulated a lot of those miles with us, but all of those miles together, that's like his, that's, you know, his entire career that uh, he's been with, you know, driving. Um, and because he's been out there on the road for, you know, ever at this okay. point, but he's, he's an amazing guy. He is super duper awesome. helpful to everybody. I mean, he'll stop and buy people dinners and I mean, all kinds of stuff. He's just incredible. Well, I uh, well tell him, you know, and even and this is Drivers Appreciation Week as well. So uh, tell him from me, oh, yeah. you know, from from me to him, you know, I I appreciate uh, the entire time that he has given to the uh, that he given to the industry. So tell him that. Um, 
I, I, well, will, I will definitely I will definitely do. I'll make a call. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, I will. Uh, I will. I just talked to him last week, so I'll do that. All right. Um, I just want uh, you know, just a little bit of your time to uh to get a little bit more yeah. uh to get a little bit more uh information about the company. Can you give me a brief background about John Christianer Trucking? Yeah, I mean, um, JCT was founded back in uh, 1986. Um, that's when John Christner founded it, when it got started with, you know, the one truck that he had and everything. Um, and then, of course, it's grown since. We've got mm, 750-ish somewhere in their trucks now, um, between 750 and 800 trucks in that range. Um, you know, we don't have any intentions of becoming like Swift or CR England or anything like that. Okay. Uh, you know, we kind of like our fleet the way that it is honestly, um, big enough to where everybody feels secure, you know, obviously in, in their jobs and, and what they're doing and, uh, you know, that they've, they've got enough work and, um, miles to run and things like that. And we take care of our customers and stuff, but not so big that, uh, you guys just feel like a truck number. Okay. That doesn't work for us. It doesn't work for you guys either. Uh, it's a business partnership is what it is here. We don't have company drivers anymore. We're strictly lease purchase and owner operator now. Okay. Uh, we did have company drivers back in the day when John first got started, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't anymore. I don't think we have in f between 15 to 20 years. I don't know exactly the exact year he got out of it, um, but it's been a while. Let me, let um, me I've been you, here nine and a half years as a recruiter. Let me ask mm -hmm. you this. Now, let me ask you this right quick. What, what was the reason why you decided to not go company driver no more? I don't know John's personal reason for it. My understanding is that he felt um, – inclined not necessarily obligated but inclined to help drivers do what he did basically uh start a fleet um get into their own trucks start their own business and kind of go that way with it um and really the companies that have the fleet that do both um there's a lot of problems with that uh, a lot of problems with lease operators feeling like company drivers get preferential right. treatment right. and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, it just causes too many problems to have both. And my understanding is John wanted to help drivers that couldn't just walk into a dealership with a down payment that, you know, an astronomical down payment or great credit or, you know, that kind of thing that couldn't just walk into a dealership and just get a truck. He wanted to help the guys that couldn't do that be able to start a business and get a truck. And so that's why we do what we do with the lease purchase program, because we're set up in a way that you don't have to have good credit. You don't have to have a down payment. None of that stuff applies to us here. You can just walk in, and as long as you're a safe driver and you've got enough experience, we can help you get into a truck. You know, okay. and that's that's kind of his goal is to help other guys do what he did and start a fleet. And we've actually, in the time that I've been here, uh, which is a good chunk of time at this point, but in the time that I've been here, I've watched a lot of drivers actually start a fleet with us. Um, you know, and not everybody necessarily wants to start a fleet. Some people just want one truck and, you know, they're good with that. But I've also watched a lot of drivers, you know, get three, four, five. Uh, I watched one driver get like seven trucks with us. Um, so it just kind of depends on what your business plan is, what you want to do. Now, let me ask you but this question. But it's also nice that it's a, you know, I say smaller company. It's just, you know, more family oriented and uh, geared towards helping one another out, which is nice. Now let me ask you this question. Now me coming in, uh, now me coming sure. in, in the door with, uh, with, with five years of experience, and you know you guys want to, you know, mm -hmm. put me in a, in a lease purchase program. Now let's say once I get into the program, and let's say I drove for you guys for like maybe six months to a year, something like that, and let's say I decided that I want to, you know, leave the company for whatever reason, would I be able to take the truck with me? As far as, like, if it was still under lease? Yes. 
that's the only thing that is different with us is because we don't use third-party leasing, like going through, for example, quality leasing, where it's a third-party company and they have a list of you can go to X amount of different companies. All the leasing is done through JCT, so you do have to run with JCT um, and under our authority while you're leasing. Now, you can do an early buyout on the truck or anything like that, and that's fine. Um, we don't charge penalties or fees or anything like that whatsoever. Or if you, I mean, at that point, honestly, we could have been reporting to your credit and stuff if you asked us to. You could have built up enough where you could go to the bank, get a loan to uh, finance the rest of the balance on the truck. And then it wouldn't matter what you, you know, where you went because it wouldn't be financed through us anymore. But while it's financed through JCT, it has to stay with JCT because we don't use an outside financing agency. Okay, okay. How how much is the truck a week? It depends on the miles you run. We actually have a variable payment system, which is not very common in the industry. There's a handful of companies that do it, but not very many of us. Mm-hmm. Um, we only charge you 23 to 26 cents a mile, and it's only for what you run. So if you only run 500 miles for the week because you went and took some home time, we only charge you for those 500 miles because obviously you're not going to make as much money that week, so we're not going to take as much money for the truck payment. There's no point in taking more than what you can afford to pay us. Okay. Um, there's a small 120 fixed payment, regardless of truck, doesn't matter what make, model, year, it's a 120 fixed payment for every truck. That's always due. That way, if you run no miles, you're still at least putting $120 towards your truck every week. Okay. But that fixed payment, it's manageable. It's not like, you know, the companies that are charging you $800 a week, and if you're taking time off, you still pay $800 a week. Right, it's right. $120. So that's something that you can manage. The rest of it is all based off of what you run and if you have a really great week let's say you run 3600 miles obviously yes you're going to have a higher truck payment but at the same time it goes towards paying off your truck faster because you're not locked into a length of time on your lease you're locked into a purchase price so if you're putting more towards your purchase price faster you're paying your truck off faster so it's always beneficial okay okay so coming up to so coming up to orientation uh how would you guys get me up there and what what and what might I need to bring? Um, we can fly you out or we can get you here via Greyhound, depending on your preference. Uh, from wherever you're leaving from. The only thing we can't do up front is a rental car. We don't have any corporate accounts with any other rental car agencies, so we would have to reimburse you when you got here up to the amount of a Greyhound ticket if you chose to drive yourself out via your own car or a rental car. We can do the reimbursement amount. Um, We also take care of hotel once you get here. Breakfast at the hotel is taken care of. We take care of lunch, so you're just responsible for, like, dinners in the evening, basically. Um, And we do orientation weekly. Any day of the week, Monday through Friday, um, it's very flexible and it's self-paced. So you basically just tell us when you can get the truck turned in. We pick your travel time from there. And then, you know, if you can't start orientation till a Thursday, then we'll just start you on a Thursday. That's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, no Greyhound. Yeah, we're, we're not doing a bus in the pandemic. <laughs> I understand. Well, some people will not fly, so we always make sure we let them know how well this is our other alternative. Okay. Now, where is the terminal located at? Um, It's right outside of Tulsa in a little town called Sepulpa. Uh, We border Tulsa, so you, like, come into the Tulsa International Airport, for example, and the hotel is actually in Tulsa as well, but our terminal is in Sepulpa. All right, and this is in Oklahoma. Yes, that's correct. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, now, should the paperwork should the paperwork be done before I get to orientation, or or the paperwork is going to be done during orientation? We process everything beforehand. Uh, most companies do it during, um, I, and I know that's what most people are used to. Uh, that's why they bring in 60 people, and then day two, there's only 30 of you because then they run reports. Mm-hmm. We don't do it that way. Uh, I don't see the point to that. I've never understood it. <laughs> Nine and a half years in this industry, I still don't understand why companies do that. Um, we run everything beforehand. So you put in an application. We run reports. We verify the last five years of your work history. We do 
all of that before we even do an approval for you to come out here. So it usually takes between three to five business days to actually process everything because we do it in advance. But at least that way, when you get that approval from management, you know that all the paperwork's been done except usually your current employer because we'll hold off on that for you so it doesn't cause you any trouble with turning in trucks and things like that. Um, But we'll have everything done, and then that way you know that everything's in your hands from there on out. You get to orientation, you just have to pass your road test, your drug and alcohol screening, if you need a new physical, that kind of stuff. It's in your hand at that point. You don't have to worry about, oh, we didn't run your MBR, now we've run it. You forgot about a ticket two years ago. Now we're sending you home. All that stuff's already been done. Okay, awesome. So uh, pre-employment drug testing uh, before I get there as well or during and what? what No, it's it's done during orientation. Okay, Uh, urine or hair follicle? Mm -hmm. Or both? We do UA. Uh, Okay, all right. All right, so I'm on your I'm I'm on the website as I'm as I'm talking to you as well. Uh what is the starting CPM? Because I'm looking at your website and it says a dollar base a dollar mile base pay. So what what is the CPM that I'll be coming in at? It's a dollar a mile is the base pay, and then it's, there's a five cent per mile, what they call market premium, on top of that that you'll receive, um, and that's extra incentive pay that they receive uh, because they just renegotiated our contracts with our customers, so you guys are now receiving an extra five cents per mile, um, and then there's also a fuel surcharge. Now that will change every week depending on the Department of Energy's national average. If you've ever received fuel surcharge before, anywhere you kind of know how that works um it's 13 cents a mile right now um and it's been pretty steady for like three months i don't think it's changed um so it's actually going to be in total a dollar 18 a mile is what you'll get paid it's all dispatch miles loaded and empty they they pay straight across the board and then we take care of expenses uh like base plates permits fuel and road taxes tolls lumpers free for fuel and trailer maintenance scales pre-pass Oklahoma Pike Pass and Easy Pass. And I'm sorry, it's not pre pass anymore now. It's drive wise. I'm still getting used to that. They just changed it over. Right. Uh, now, now. But that saves about ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a year in expenses. So that'll help a lot. All right. So, so being that you guys is leased, so you guys is, is fully 1099 now, right? That is correct, yes. Uh, do we get any benefits or no? Like, are you talking about medical? Yes. We have a third-party company that we do recommend, and I know a lot of our drivers do use them, but it's not required. Um, We can send you the information to contact them because you have to actually call them to get any kind of pricing since it's individually done based off of your needs. Um, but they offer medical, dental, vision, and then different types of life and disability insurances. So you basically pick and choose your plan, what you need, what kind of coverage for how many people, um, and then they will price it for you. And if you like what you um, are given price-wise, then we can settlement deduct it for you. Okay, okay. Uh, what else uh, What else are we paid? Uh, what else is paid to the drivers, like breakdown pay? Uh, layovers, detention. I would, I would ask holiday pay, but being that you guys is a ten ninety nine company, I'm sure holiday pay is like out of the question. Yeah, but what about- yeah, you won't get anything like holiday or or anything like that uh, or breakdown pay. Now there is like detention pay and things like that. Detention pay will get paid out to you regardless of whether or not a customer pays it. So some customers like Tyson, for example, they don't pay detention pay. Um, But we will pay, JCT will pay you detention pay regardless of whether or not a customer pays it. We always make sure it's paid out to drivers. Now Um, now it's not going to get paid out. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you know. Okay, I was going to say it doesn't get paid out until four hours with uh, within the time, which I know is a little unusual. I think it's two hours for most places. Yes, but it's different because of the fact that we always pay it out regardless of whether or not the customer pays it. And then it's up to two hundred dollars a day, and then it restarts every day for you guys. So we will always make sure that it's paid out to you. Um, and they do it. Uh, 
on your settlement. So you will always get that paid. It's just automatically done. Now, you know, that's kind of, you know, and, and excuse me for what I'm about to say, but that is totally BS that that uh, that that these places don't pay detention, but yet they 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 held they they held us up. You know, Walmart, Tyson. Uh, yeah, I think I think one time, I think one 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 time Walmart held me up for almost my ten hour break, and I had to literally fight for that detention. Oh, wow. So yeah, I I just think that is total that is total BS that they don't that they don't pay us the uh, that our our detention time. They they throw this little trope in there to us. Uh, well, you was five minutes late. What? Yeah, that's ridiculous. So yeah, that that's crazy. What are um what are your lease drivers? What yeah. what are they? What what I'm not sure if you able to answer this because you you said that you guys primarily mm-hmm. just do lease now, but do you know what are the average mm-hmm. miles that they that they're averaging a week? Fleet average. So if you're going off of like all the solo drivers in our fleet, fleet average is about 2,800 miles or so, um, because we're not forced dispatch. So we get, we've got guys that turn down loads and things like that. They get real picky, choosy about things. Mm-hmm. Um, my drivers, I stay in contact with a lot of them on a regular basis. I've got drivers that do 3,200 on a regular basis. So it really depends on how you run your truck. We have plenty of miles to go around. That's why we have a brokerage department. We have spillover. Spillover goes into brokerage. That's about 20% of our freight. So the miles are there. It's whether or not you're running them, whether or not you're taking advantage of the fact that they're there. Um, If your communication with operations is what it needs to be to take advantage of those miles. But we've got guys that don't. And then we've got guys that do. So it's just whether or not you're one of those guys that does or doesn't take advantage of the fact that they're there and, and available to you. Um, it's just one of those things. you got to make sure you're on the winning end of it. And you can be. I've got a lot of drivers that are, but I've also got drivers that have been on the losing end before because they get way too picky about where they're running. Um, we run all 48 states. I tell everybody that we run everywhere. It's irregular route. We're all over the place. Um, I mean, the far northeast and the central northern states are pretty limited. You don't really have to worry about running those too much. But we run everywhere else, and then I'll have guys come over, and then they get real picky choosy, and they just want to stay in these this little area, and they want to run more regional. Well, if you're going to get like that, you're not going to get as many miles. You've got to be willing to run. Gotcha. So as long as you're willing to do that, you can do really well. Gotcha. What are, what are what, What's the equipment you guys currently have in your fleet? Um, we've got 2017s, 19s, and 20s, Freightliner, Cascadia, Evolution, and Kenmore T680s. Now, the 2017s are going to start rotating out of the fleet soon, so I don't know how much longer we will have those. They're going to be replaced with 2021s. Um, so those will start coming in as the 2017s roll out. So that's kind of where our rotation is going at the moment. Now, being that these are lease trucks, uh, the amenities in the truck bare bones, or do you guys offer some type of amenities in the truck? They do have amenities. I mean, it's not complete bare bones. It's not going to be lavish. It's not like Cadillac, you know, amazing. Um, I would like to say that it's, you know, top of the line. It's not, it's kind of in between. Um, They're going to have APUs. They've got inverters. They've got the refrigerators, double bunks. Um, they've got the mounts for the TVs. They don't have the TVs. You're going to have to provide your own on that end. But um, So it's kind of an in-between. It's going to have the necessities, you know, the things that you need. APUs are necessities. Inverters are necessities. Refrigerators are necessities. A lot of companies don't feel they are. We do. Um, so they're all going to be in there for you. Okay, awesome. Um, double bunks are in all of the um, trucks because we want to make sure if you decide to bring on a teammate, you're set. Um, you know, so all of that stuff we consider to be a necessity. So you're going to have it on the truck when you get in the truck. Okay, awesome. What about a driver camera? Now, being that this is a lease truck, do we still have to have a driver mm-hmm. cam- driver camera in our truck? You, um, I know that they were installing dash cams in the trucks for 
exterior facing, but you will not have anything interior facing. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So, uh, I'm not, now let me clarify. I'm not a felon. (laughs) Okay. But what do you guys do for, for drivers that do have felonies on, you know, on this, on their person? Do you give them a chance? It, we we do. It's going to depend on the felony as to the time frame. Most felonies, it does have to be at least seven years old, past conviction date, or released from prison if they did do any time. Um, that's the majority of them. There are a handful of them that have to be seven, uh, 10 years old. Um, I think that the ones that have to be 10 years old are like anything having to do with like drug possession, things like that. Um, there are also a handful of them that we absolutely won't bring you on no matter what. Okay. Um, things like that are, um, I think, like murder, manslaughter, yeah. um, anything to do with children. Um, so that kind of thing is an absolute no, we can't help you out. But um, for the most part, I would say like 90% of them, it, it has to be at least seven years old. All right, that'll work. All right, so thank you very much. I, I appreciate the, uh, yeah. the the time. I have uh, I have one last question for you. So for sure. my last question, uh, pretty much deals with uh, our mm-hmm. safety out here. You know, in the light of all the dangerous mm-hmm. situations that's going on that this pandemic has caused, uh, what do you guys do to protect your drivers uh, with loads that's going into high-risk cities? What kind of high risk cities are we talking about? Like, uh, like Kenosha, for example, uh, Minnesota, that just had the riots. Uh, some cities that's over here talking about defunding the police departments. You know. Uh, okay, so you're you're not talking like weather and stuff. You're talking about like the riots and things like exactly. that. Exactly. Um, okay. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was clear on uh, what we were talking about. Exactly. <laughs> um, I, they haven't been um, real clear, and this is just me being honest, because they don't necessarily share a lot of that detailed stuff from operations up to recruiting necessarily, mm-hmm. um, because it can change day-to-day basis depending on what's going on in the world. So it may not be something that we necessarily hear anything about. Now, do, are they taking safety measures? Yes, of course, because they've sent out emails saying that they're taking safety measures. I don't know exactly what all of the details of safety measures are because it probably really does change on a daily basis depending on what is going on. Um, they monitor the news um, and, uh, you know, exact situations and then handle accordingly, of course. Um, but our operations department is the one that handles all of that. So I don't know exactly what they do, but I do know that it gets monitored. Um, they've sent out, you know, like all employee emails to let us know, Hey, this is being handled. We're taking care of it. They actually have people in place downstairs that are helping out with all of that. But I don't know all of the details of it because they don't necessarily share it with recruiting what they're doing on a, day-to-day basis i mean i could get more information i just don't know offhand not a problem and i appreciate your candor and your honesty in uh in in that question uh what's yeah. your policy what's your policies on firearms though for for self-defense i mean now being that we're leasing the trucks the trucks is pretty much ours so can drivers protect themselves with their firearms if they if they are cc cc ccw compliant Um, I, and this is, I'm not a hundred percent sure on this is me guessing. Um, I'm going to say probably not because rules change from state to state. Mm -hmm. Um, and because we run from state to state, I don't think that they allow you to carry in the truck, but I can double check and find out for you with our safety director. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's just because I have a husband that's a gunsmith too, and I know that from one state to the next state, rules on that change, and so you can get into big trouble if you're in the wrong state because that conceal and carry doesn't mean jack. 
Um, so you have to be real careful with that kind of stuff. Um, so that's why I just personally want to say I don't think you can because if you're in the wrong state, then you're still going to get in trouble even though you have that conceal and carry. Um, but I'll double check for you and I can find out and I can let you know. I mean, I'm, I never have a problem asking questions just to find out. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Well, out of all companies out here, that yeah. especially all the companies that uh, that I have talked to so far, and you know that I'm still doing my research, why would why why would John Christner's Trucking will be uh, a trucking company for me? You know, I, I couldn't tell you that it's necessarily the trucking company for you because I don't know you well. Now I can tell you why it's a great company. Um, I'm still here after nine and a half years, and I certainly wouldn't be here if I didn't think it was an amazing place to be. Um, if you're looking for a place that uh, you can grow with, um, not just run a business, but have a business partnership, um, we will help you with that, and we can be great with that. Uh, you will find friends here. You can find uh, a family here. Um, and it's just an amazing group of people uh, you can really grow with and build a partnership with that uh, can last a lifetime. I mean, we've got drivers that have that have uh, left to go run locally and uh, do other things, and we still hear from them. They still call. Some of them still drop by the yard and visit years later. Um, so it's definitely a place where you build relationships that um, – last a lifetime um and it's just a wonderful place to be uh so i would say if, if that's what you're looking for is to build uh relationships and build a business with people that are that have knowledge that want to help you succeed this is the place to be all it right. really is that's what's up that's what's up well uh that's all i have uh i would definitely take this information and share okay. it with uh share it with people in my social media you know where i network with other truckers and stuff like that and um uh, and yeah well this, and do you have an email and i can send you some additional information and then that way when i find out what i need to um about those questions you had that i didn't necessarily have answers for i can also email that information to you as well yes lockout men l-o-c-k-o-u-t-m-e-n mm -hmm. at gmail.com awesome and how do you spell your name sean there's like three or four different ways. I don't want to spell it wrong. No, nah, it's, it's fine. S-H-A-U-N. <laughs> All right. I spelled it that way the first time, and then I was like, no. Nah. Then I spelled it with a W-N, and then I was like, I'm just going to ask. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's I easier appreciate to just it. ask. <laughs> All right. Well, you take it easy. Thank you. Thank right. you for your time, and uh, and definitely a, a great call. Uh, one pleasure talking to you this evening or this yeah. morning. And definitely let uh, Mr. Larry Miles sure know that uh, that uh, that he's very much appreciated. Yeah, and what was your last name, Sean? And I'll I'll put this in here, and I'll give Larry a call and let him know I talked to you. Uh, my last night, uh, you could just put lockout me in. There you go. You can have my government. It's, it's Sean Gallette. Last time. You said Gallette? Yeah, G-U-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Last time I gave somebody my uh, my government name, and I told them that I you know, was just mm -hmm. still – you know, just still doing the research. I, I get a call from my fleet manager. Sure. Hey, you planning on leaving us? Uh-oh. I was like, uh. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh you know, and that's why, I, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that part oh, right no. here. So. No, no, no. We don't do that. I never contact, like, current companies. And I don't even have an application on you, so that wouldn't happen anyways. But yeah. even if we did, I don't contact current companies because I know how that can go. And sometimes it goes very badly. So, yeah. so mm, no, I don't play that game. <laughs> you know, basically, I just I, I, I just do this. You know, I, I do this, you know, not only for myself to find out about what you guys have to offer, but I, I also yeah. do this for other drivers too yeah. because you know i have a facebook group i have a youtube i have yeah. a, uh i have a twitter group and all like oh, that awesome. and, and we all talk about you know trucking sure. companies all the time so that's why i go back and share all my information yeah so 
If somebody said if somebody well, say, you can tell everybody Mr. Larry Miles is a real guy. <laughs> I, I definitely would do that. I definitely would do that. Thank you very much, ma'am, yep. and I appreciate your time. Yeah, you even got to you even got to talk to his recruiter. I was the one that brought him in, so awesome. he is the real deal. I promise. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. You take it easy, and you have a blessed day. You're welcome. You too, Sean. Bye bye. John Christianer's trucking, everybody. Man, great call. Pleasure talking to her. The uh, the Larry Miles guy, real guy, <laughs> real guy, and talked to the recruiter that brought him on. So, yeah, super, super shout out to that man right there. 10 million, 10 million safe miles throughout his throughout his uh, trucking uh, career. That's uh that's one hell of a milestone, uh, Mr. Larry Miles. On behalf of the Lockout Men podcast, yo, you are greatly appreciated, uh, young man. You're greatly appreciated. So what do you guys think of that call, man? John Krishner's trucking. They reverted from uh being a company, uh, a company driving company to a lease purchase uh company. One dollar base miles. Uh, would that work for you? I, I know a lot of you guys that's, you know, that's owner operators and some leasing guys that's, you know, that watch this channel. And you guys say that a dollar a mile ain't shit, you know, uh, but it, it might work for somebody else. So she said that you get an extra five cents. So. A dollar five cent a mile would that work? I mean, theoretically, if you do like three thousand miles a week, that's three thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, it's basically on you. You know, it's it's basically on you if you think that a dollar a mile will help. Uh, you're leased on to John Christianers by way of their own leasing program. They don't have a third party program. So if anything should happen to you, whether you decide to quit, whether you decide to leave, just know all that money that you put into the truck won't be coming back to you. I'm just saying. So basically it's like a rent to own type of deal, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But overall, I mean, overall it's, everything else that she said about the company is pretty good i mean it's it's pretty interesting what do you guys think though it, would this company work for you john christener's trucking uh which is located okay i found it all right so john christener's uh trucking they're located in sapupala 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 oklahoma right outside of tulsa so you guys will be coming in uh, by way of air, uh, by by way of airplane in the Tulsa uh, airport. Uh, they can get you up there by uh, bus if needed. Uh, if you guys not fan of the bus, you can drive up to Oklahoma, and um, and they'll get you in there. Speaking of Oklahoma, that's going to be my next staycation next month. Uh, I'm thinking about going down to Oklahoma, heading over to the Windstar and chill there for uh for my uh for my weekend so yeah see me if you down near windstar see me down there but uh but yeah john christeners man what do you what do you guys think uh leave your comments in the comments below if you think this company is good for you or if you like the company you can give them a call at 866-384-3841 john christeners trucking so if that's something if that's a company that you guys might want to look into, definitely look into it. Well, that is it for this episode of uh, Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition. Come back next week for another episode of uh, Lockout Men MTC edition to see who I call. Let me know who you want me to call. Leave your suggestions in the comments below, and I will try to get that out there to you. While you're at it, hook a brother up with some coffee 
You know what I'm saying? The coffee app is in the description. The cash app is in the description. Dollar sign, lockout men, you know? Help me out. Takes time to vet these companies for you guys. Maybe the next company that I talk to will be the company that you want to listen to, I mean, listen about, right? If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? I am one of the top 50 uh, YouTubers to watch, and the MTC edition is the reason why. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate you guys very much. This is Trucker's Appreciation. So you see me out there, slap, you know, fist bump. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. So if you guys want to uh, leave your comments, definitely leave your comments in the comments below. And then till next time, I will come back at you guys with another video, another podcast, another MTC edition. Uh, if you want to get at me, leave me, you know, let me know in the Gmail. That's LockoutMenPodcast at gmail.com. And you can also get me over at uh, Brain Freeze. <laughs> See there? Over at uh, Still a Brain Freeze. Instagram. Hit me up over there. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.